Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. All right. In this video, let's see what are the dictionaries and how do we create them. All right. So if you take dictionaries, dictionaries are sort of uh, data arrays. Generally, dictionaries consist of key value pairs. Each key value pair in the dictionary will have the specific key associated with its respective value. All right. So if you look at the structure of the dictionary, generally dictionaries will be created with curly braces and colon will be used to separate the key and values. All right. So if you look at the structure, this is how the dictionary structure would be. There are different uh, other ways to create also that those uh, different ways we'll see. But basically the structure of dictionary would be like this. So within the curly braces, key, each key will be separated with its value by uh, colon. All right. So here within uh, curly braces, key and value and key and values are separated by colon. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create the dictionary. I'm just creating a simple dictionary uh, that contains the countries and respective capital cities. I'm going to just say India. Uh, capital city is New Delhi and one more key USA and capital city is Washington DC another key UK and respective value is London Australia and respect to capital city. All right, these items are enough. Let me just execute. Now I can return the items from the dictionary just by calling the dictionary like this. See, all the items within the dictionary have been uh, written here. So each key got its respective value, and key and values are separated by colons. All right, so now if I want to return all the items as list of tuples what i can do i can use items method by using items method i can return all the items in the dictionary as list of tuples all right so there is a list created and within that list see each key value pair as written as tuple so india and respect to capital city one tuple and this other tuple this other tuple so that's how if you want to just you know um, return your dictionary as a list of tuples of course you can use items so if i want to return the respective value for the given key what i can do i can just call the dictionary and pass the respective key here now value is written for that key if i say UK value is written for UK. All right. If I pass a wrong key here, for example, uh, I don't have UK key. Okay. So let me just give wrong key which doesn't uh, exist in my dictionary. See here, it throws error. Right. So there is one method called get. If you use get method, it does same thing. You know, it, it returns the value for the given key. For example, if I say that USA, it returns the value. Now I'm giving some wrong key here, um, which doesn't exist in my dictionary. See what it does. Though I given wrong key, but my get method, it's not uh, you know, returning any error, but it returns none because that key does not exist. All right. I want to return the default value in case uh, key does not exist in the dictionary. So what I can do, I can just pass the default uh, value, um, but that is allowed only in get method. So I would say that key not exist. Okay. So in case if key not uh, you know exist in the dictionary, just I want to return the default value that is key not exist. All right. So if I give uh, the right key which there in the dictionary it returns its respective value all right if key exists it returns the respective value if key does not exist it returns the default value that we passed that's how get method works 
so if i want to add the new uh, key value pair to my dictionary what i can do i can just add uh, sorry i can just add new key here i'm gonna just say uh, chain and respective value i'm gonna just pass it as bg all right now uh, if i go to my dictionary i should see the new item being added to the dictionary all right so this is how you can just you know uh, keep adding the new items so now uh, if i want to update the value for specific uh, key in the existing dictionary what i can do i can just update this to maybe if i say the china beijing uh, i will just update this to i'm not aware see it's been updated now if i execute my dictionary yeah it's been updated to i'm not away all right so that's how you can update value for existing key all right fine uh, now in case if i want to take out the specific uh, key from my dictionary what i can do i can just use method called pop my dictionary by using pop method i can just take off um, the specific um, uh, key value pair from my dictionary for example i want to take off what happened yeah i want to take uh, um, australia all right so it has written its its value but that that um, uh, key value pair has completely gone from my dictionary if i execute my dictionary let's see yeah see here it, it's gone that whole uh, you know item has gone from my dictionary all right now if i use a uh, pop items method it doesn't allow any uh, arguments so if i pop items sorry pop item so what it does it will just take out the last key value pair from my dictionary all right so it took out the last one that is um, key value pair china and beijing now if i execute see key is gone now okay all right so if i execute again the next key that's the last key that is uk that will be gone so likewise you can just keep on you know uh, popping out the items so if i want to return all the keys from my dictionary so what i can do i can just keys it doesn't allow any arguments so it returns all the keys in the same way if i want to return all the values in my from my dictionary so what i can do i can just say values all right all right let's see the other way of creating a dictionary even we can create the dictionaries by using dict method all right so let's see how do we create dictionaries by using dict method i'm just going to create dictionary one that i'm gonna use dict here so here i can specify list of tuples as well i'm gonna just use same data let me use same data but only i'll make them as uh, tuples here so this is one tuple all right so in here we don't need colon we just need comma to separate key and values as it is tuple so uh, let me just execute all right it's been created and let me return the values from all right so uh, we got a dictionary created by using dict method by using dict itself we can do in other way as well same thing let me just rename it as my dictionary 2 i don't want to create tuples here i'm gonna just 
even I'm not creating a list, not a list, not a tuple. So and by just specifying key equals to respective value equals to its respective value and this doesn't need to be in a single code because those are key and value only should be in quotes all right this looks okay yep yeah. let me just let me rename it as dictionary 2 so there is dictionary created and returning values uh, it, it's same again um, if you want to return all the items as list of tuples then go for it if you want to return specific key uh, specific key value uh, with git method uh, if it does not exist then you can say that um, uh, no key exist yeah these are the different ways to create the dictionaries you know if you want to clear the dictionary just you can use clear method if you want to just update either you can just directly pass the value and update or you can still use update method to update the values and you can uh, even merge the dictionaries also so uh, this is something about dictionaries yeah thanks for watching my video We'll meet again with a different concept on dictionaries in next video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.